Hey guys, Luke Clausen here. We're up at Lake St. Clair, the Great Lakes. This place is windy, big smallmouth fun place, but we're doing a cool thing today. We're gonna put the drift paddles on, power pull drift paddles. These slow you way down. We're gonna be fishing big, broad areas, but you can slow your boat down really effectively, fish those areas. It's the newer version of a drift sock. Back in the day, we used to this big parachute, like a drift sock out behind you, slow you down, struggle to pull it in. Now these, they just connect to your power poles. You lower them down. We have eight foot poles we're gonna be putting on them today. And uh, they just slow you way down, really let you effectively fish those areas. And we're gonna show you how to put them on a boat. Hey guys, we got our drift paddles in the box here. We're gonna open up, show you what you get when you order a set of drift paddles. Of course, the paddles, get them out to your poles. This is the surface that's slowing you down. That's gonna be, uh, well, eight feet at the bottom underneath the surface, up to four feet underneath the surface. So a lot of force there, water pushing against that, slowing your boat down. Uh, really important for what we're doing for smallmouth fishing, but guys will actually even use them for trolling too. If you want to troll with a bigger outboard, it'll slow you down. Uh, they're pretty cool. And we also have all the hardware and instructions. You see you have everything you need here. It's a quick, easy operation to get these snapped on your power pole to use them. A lot of good stuff. We're going to show you how to put all this stuff on right now. All right guys, pretty simple for the tools you need to get these uh, drift paddles put on your boat. A 7 16 or 11 millimeter wrencher socket. Makes it a lot easier with a drill and a socket, one of each. We're gonna zip some screws off with those. A little towel to clean up after yourself and some sort of lubricant. When we slide these rubber pieces onto the spikes, a little bit of lubricant helps. Uh, here's some glass cleaner, dish detergent works. Any kind of lubricant you have laying around the house, in the bedroom, whatever it is, one kind of lubricant will work. All right guys, so we're all ready to install our drift paddles on an eight foot blade here. Uh, the same set of drift paddles works with the Pro Series, but there's different components you're gonna use. So when we get in the box, there's two different sets of bushings. These taller bushings here, they're gonna be for the blades. These shorter bushings, all the Pro Series, the Pros, Pros 2s. So we're not gonna need any of these little short ones, just the taller ones for our blades. And we look at the inserts on your attachment for your actual paddle, there's inserts that go in one of them on the blade. Now it, you want the one with the bigger hole in it. Not these small holes, but rather the one with the bigger hole goes on the blade series. The one with the smaller hole is gonna go on the Pro Series. And those will actually go inside of one of these right here. So it's gonna fit in there. And we're only gonna use one of those because this part here is gonna go around the spike portion. And as the spike comes up to the actual fitting that the spike goes in, the thicker portion, it's gonna fit around just that bare piece right there. So we only need one insert, those two right there, the taller bushings are two bolts, four washers, and two lock nuts that come with it, and of course the bracket, and we're gonna show you how to put this thing on. All right, so to start with here, we're gonna lower these poles down to a 45, just to make it easier to work on. It opens up the pole here, but also is a lot better level for us. So we have down to about a 45 right now. We got our socket on a drill and a wrench, and these two top bolts are the two we're going to want to remove first. And we're going to take everything off of here. So you can see I got a nut, a washer, this nut here, which I'm probably going to have to back out with this. They're in there pretty tight, but we're going to take we'll pull these, this nut out. It's got a washer on the end of it. And also get this little plastic bushing out here too which a lot of times the easiest way to do that is just take your screw, get a hold of it, and there's a little white plastic bushing. We're not gonna need that, but save all these parts. If you're gonna take this bracket off, really easy to do. We're just a couple bolts away from removing your drift paddles, going back to the original nuts and bolts. Let's see how much stuff I can not drop here. And that one there, we're out on both those. So we have nothing left here. Make sure you just have two holes. No bushings, no washers, no bolts, no nuts, no nothing. And we're going to start putting the bracket on that's going to hold the paddle on here and let it swivel on the top of the power pole. All right, so we got our bracket, our nuts, our bolts, our bushings, our washers. That's all we're going to need for this part right here. So what we're going to want to do is, a lot of times it's easy to start pushing that little bushing and get it just to sit in there. I have way too much stuff in my hands. I wouldn't recommend trying to carry it all at once. But you can just push those in there and get those started. That allows you to swivel it. You'll be able to get everything lined up here. We'll push those in and get those set in there. And that's just gonna make everything lined up so we hopefully have less in our hands. 
So we're ready for the bracket now. The way this bracket wants to sit, all these holes in the bottom, your adjustment points, we want that on the bottom. So the single hole on the top, and we're gonna start with the bottom one. That really makes it the easiest because it lets it tilt down as we do this. So we'll get that over those bushings and see if I can get it in the hole. But once we get that bottom one in there, you'll see how it pivots. It gives us a lot more room to work with the top one. So using a drill like that, a lot of times, is just gonna let everything line up as those threads move through there to where we can get it started like that. And I'll go ahead and just throw a washer and a lock nut on that bottom one right now and get that set. And then it'll just leave us to figure out life on the top one here. Push that bushing in here. We're getting close to being done. We get that all lined up. Back to the drill. We got threads to be able to get our nut and washer started on. So you see, we just we don't have a lot of thread here, and all we're really going to do is get this started. We have a couple threads at the washer on there. We'll get our nut started, and we can snug everything down. We tighten it up; it's going to pull it all together for us. But now we have our four bushings in there, two bolts, four washers, and two nuts on there, and we got all the holes on the bottom there. That should be the way it looks right now. We got it pretty well set up. We're really close to actually having a paddle on here, and just a few minutes into it. So we're just going to tighten up these nuts and bolts. So that we don't lose a paddle in the lake. And you'll see it's going to kind of compress the bracket a little bit. I really just want to make sure I have threads out here to the end of the nut. And uh, that's going to keep it solid. It's not going anywhere. All right, guys, next up, all we need to do is throw these rubber support clips on here. So these are going to slide up on your spikes. I mentioned earlier there's an insert for them, the insert with the bigger hole. The insert with the smaller hole, that's for uh, the Pro Series one. So we're going to take and fold this. I like to compress it till you fold it in half. And just slide it through. And uh, once you push that through, it's going to pop out. And it's going to be inside of one of them, just like so. In this part here, this is going to go on the spike, the lower one. So your upper one is going to have a bigger hole, your lower one a smaller hole. As this will go on the spike, this is actually going to go on the sleeve that goes over the spike, so it's a little bit bigger. We have some window cleaner to use as lubricant, so we're going to take and really spray that thing down. And really all this is doing is just making it easier to slide these up on here. So we'll come up over it here. we got the bigger one going up over the top. Once you get it on there, it's going to make it a lot easier to slide on. It's a pretty tight fit, so without some sort of lubricant on there, it can be a little bit of a bear to fight those over. Anything will work. It's slick. Window cleaner, it just goes away pretty quick, evaporates. So let's slide this bottom one up to the bottom of the sleeve. So we came up this section of uh, spike here, slide it up to the bottom of the sleeve. And this top one up in this vicinity, we'll line them up with the holes on the paddles here in a second. Right now, it's just important to get them on there. We're getting close. All right, guys, we're ready to install the paddle. So here comes the easy part right now. We're just going to take this pin right here, lift up on it, slide this in the bracket. It's going to go right in the middle to where that bushing lines up. This can go in any hole right now just to hold it. And we'll take our little pin here, our little key, run this through the top, down through both little plastic bushings, lock it in, and we got a paddle on there right now. And this is your adjustment right here. We'll show you later on, but you can turn the paddle however you want, whatever angle, based on what speed you want to go, if you're going to stow it, or if uh, you're going to be actually using it while you're out on the water. Next up, we got to install our little rubber attachments. So the easiest way to do this is take and fold one end. I like to do the bottom end. But fold it up, get it started on there, and then we'll take and just push the top through and twist it. So they just lock in that simple. Remember, these still slide up and down because we put the lubricant on there. We'll take, start one in, slide them in, get the top in, and uh, back up, and we'll just twist them in there, and they pop in. And right now, those are your rubber supports. So those are keeping your paddle locked on here, but have a little bit of flex in case there's a lot of force, anything like that. 
and we have a drift paddle. We're all set up right now. Of course, this is how we're going to use them fishing. To stow them, we like to turn them to the outside like this. They'll be straight, and they come with some straps. We'll show you in a minute here. Putting the straps on when you're towing them, really important. Stops vibration, stops your drift paddle from getting warped by wind, anything like that. It just contains the paddle. Running on the lake, I just leave them like this. But when you're running down the road, on the freeway, long distances, I like to put that strap on there, contain them from any vibration. And again, the slowest speed you can go is going to be straight out, of course. But if you want to keep them at a 45, this slows you down some, a lot. You know, whatever you'd like, you can really adjust how much resistance you have with that there. And you need to be careful when we put these up. We want to make sure they're not going to hit the motor when they're out like this or over to the side. You can see how close they are to our engine. So we, a lot of times they're going to hit your engine. You need to check it before you get on the water to where you're not trying to run with them sideways like this so they end up scarring up your motor cowling. A lot of times when you don't want to run, we'll just go ahead and twist twist them over a couple notches like that so they're out of the way. And again, you can even use them like that to slow you down some. Just not as effective as when they're straight. Hey guys, we got our powerful drift paddles on. We're going to go ahead and stow them, throw our strap on here, get ready to hit the lake, go catch some big smallmouth hopefully. You know, these drift paddles are really handy anytime you want to slow your boat down. The power pole still works as a power pole spike, especially in harder bottoms where it's not going to hit the bottom of the paddle. Still used as a power pole. It's not eliminating that function of it. It works on the blades, the Pro Series, all power poles, uh, six, eight, ten footers. You can throw these on super simple, super easy. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you like fishing, you like the tips and techniques, really anything bass fishing tournament related, click the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.